You wanted to see me, sister? Yes, come in, Bernie. Sit down. <laughs> I bought you a toffee flavour chocolate, sister, on the off chance. <laughs> not for me, thank you, Bernie. Right, should I ask Mark if he wants one, only I'm not sure I could manage two. Unless this was going to be a long meeting, in which case I might just get Snickers from the machine as well. No, Bernie, just put the drinks on the desk and sit down. Right. One of these, I got three sugars in it. Bernie, so do you know why I've asked to see you today? Would it be about last night? Yes, I'm afraid it is about last night. <laughs> it would seem your birthday stunt may have gone unnoticed had the Xerox machine not jammed. You can imagine Dr Barker's, shall we say, surprise when trying to photocopy his memos this morning was presented with 40 black and white A3 enlargements of your bottom. <laughs> right, I can explain that, sister, actually, you know, how they came about. Not only that, it now seems the copier has gone into shock and can print nothing but A3 enlargements of your bottom. Sister O'Brien is having to copy out the rotors by hand as we speak. Right, I mean, I can explain that, sister. No problem, you know, how that came about, like. Please, be my guest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what now? <laughs> well, I mean, there was no harm done. You know, us girls are like when we get together. I bet you're a bit of a dark horse yourself when you get going, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't mean to upset anyone. Look at it from my position, Bernie. What am I supposed to tell Dr. Barker when he asks why there are several dozen copies of your backside circulating on various male wards? It was just for the crack, sister. Is that supposed to be funny, Bernie? No, sister. <laughs> oh, my God! The crack! <laughs> Oh, no, that's still too hot. <laughs> We've also had a Mr Blackwood who's complained about you. He's complained about me? Something you said while giving him a blanket bath. <laughs> Something about a boat. Sweet mother of Jesus is like trying to raise the Titanic! <laughs> I'm sorry, sister. I really feel you've let us all down this time, Bernie, not just yourself. I'm afraid I've no choice but to give you a written warning. Raindrops and roses and <laughs> Right copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages dried up with string. These are a few of my favourite things. Bernie! When the dog bites, when the bees sting. Bernie, Bernie, what are you doing? I was just trying to lighten the situation. <laughs> Take these. Make sure you read them. Sign them both, keep one and hand the other in at the main office. Now, if you'd like to get back to your work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this one's yours. Get out! <laughs> you must be Carol. How's it going? Oh, hello. I'm Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Oh, you just moved from St Anne's, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Oh, how are you doing? Settling in all right? Yep, great, thanks. All right, not having any bother with any of the porters? Mm, no, everyone's made me feel really welcome. Oh, grand, because, you know, one or two of them can be a little bit frisky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Especially Malcolm in A&E. I mean, you have to give him the old green light, but after that, he won't take no for an answer. <laughs> He's got big hands, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hear you've got the busiest A&E department in the region. I wouldn't mind a bit of experience there. Oh, you'll get experience there, all right. No, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's a lovely black guy, Colin. Security works nights. My God, he's one big lump of a man. <laughs> right, when I said experience, I was referring to nursing. Oh, God, will you listen to me? <laughs> you must think I'm a right whore. <laughs> I just mean, you know, they're a decent bunch of lads, you know, for the crack, you know. Right, well, I think that's my lunch, so I'd better get on. Oh, right, yeah, you're going to the canteen? Oh, here, I'll walk down with you. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I was just saying to Big Karen on the desk, we need a bit of new blood in here, you know what I mean? Something young with a bit of life. <laughs> I tell you, it's nigh on impossible to get anyone to go on the pool with these days. <laughs> what do you say, Carol? Me and you, a few Bacardi breezes, a couple of big navvies down the Archway Tavern, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I've got a partner, so probably not. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I mean, haven't we all, though, you know? I mean, but you know, just because you're on a diet, it doesn't mean you can't dribble over the menu, does it? <laughs> <laughs> 
I, actually, Carol, I should probably warn you, um, there's been a few problems on Queen Elizabeth Ward. Really? Yeah, yeah. Old fella in for a brain scan. Keeps exposing himself to the female staff. Oh, my God! Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I say old, he's not really old. He's probably about late 50s, you know, obviously taking quite good care of himself. <laughs> Bernie, this is very serious. I know. Who else knows about this? <laughs> oh, he doesn't do it all the time. Um, Thursday nights are usually the best. I think there's some sort of sexy programme on Channel 4 he likes. <laughs> Certainly puts the lead in his pencil, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think you realise how serious this matter is. And to be honest, it sounds as though you're encouraging him. Oh, no, believe me, Carol, he doesn't need any encouragement. <laughs> He's like a puppy in a sausage factory. I mean, fair play to him. It's not the biggest one I've ever seen on the ward, but you know what they say? If it's more than a mouthful, it's a waste. <laughs> Bernie, since I started here on Monday, I have tried not to listen to the rumours about you. But it seems everything they say is true. Oh, thanks, Carol. That's really sweet. <laughs> that wasn't a compliment. No. I've had to go round the ward and redo all the beds you made this morning. Half of them hadn't even had their sheets changed. Oh, no, no, Carol, no. Between you and me, what I tend to do is I give them a good sniff and if they're not too whiffy, I just leave them on for another couple of days. <sighs> I didn't hear that, Bernie. Right. What I tend to do is... <laughs> Bernie! <laughs> I'm going to go and get my lunch now. Yeah. And after that, I'm going to request a meeting with Sister Hughes. Yeah, Christ, Carol, no worries, yeah. Just go and get your lunch, yeah. I'm cutting down myself. <laughs> Got a right slut of a dress for the summer. I'm going to get into it if it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wish. <laughs>